go with the California calf roper, Mike Arnold. We watched Mike win the Reno Rodeo earlier. The kind of guy that can really make things happen fast. Look at the head start the calf has. That's what we talk about the score. He's way out in the arena before the guy leaves the box. Now it just has to happen in a hurry. One wrap, two wraps. There's the half hitch to secure it. The flag will drop. And Mike is not riding Boogeyman this afternoon. He owns the AQHA and the PRCA Roping Horse of the Year, but for some reason he is not on him. I would think if there was ever a time that you would need him, it would be here with the head start that the calf gets. The time for Mike Arnold this afternoon, 12.4 seconds. It should move him up in the average. That takes us now to Sean McMullen, Ira and Texas Cowboy, competing in his second PRCA season. I've watched Sean at the college level, Jeff, and he's an outstanding calf roper. Making his move into the PRCA, very strong contention this year, well into the top 15. And what I've noticed about him is how fast he is on the tie. Watch the tie go on, there's the half hitch. That's what it's all about. He came into this afternoon sitting number six in the average, and that was an awfully quick run. The time for Sean this afternoon, 13.1 seconds. Not too bad, and that'll keep him alive there in the average. And that takes us now, Butch, to your neighbor, as a matter of fact, <laughs> Tony Current and Oregon Calf Roper. Well, Tony actually lives about a mile from me. That's awful close in our country for, <laughs> for a neighbor, though. We'll see him in two events this afternoon. Here in the calf roping, you can see this yellow horse. He gets him into position. Now he needs just a hurry. Gets the send down the rope. Needs a fast tie. One wrap, two wraps. There we go. Well, he needs a 13.4 to take the lead in the average. He's also, as you said, competes in two events. A very strong steer wrestler. And shows a lot of talent in the calf roping this afternoon. 13.9, so not quite fast enough to move Tony into the top spot in the average. And that takes us now to Jerry Allen. Calf roper from Del Rio, Texas. Been to the National Finals Rodeo only one time, and that was in 1990. Well, the length of the head start really affects on how the horses leave the box. Now, these horses go to 99% of the rodeos leaving with the calf as it moves out of the chute. Here, they have to wait a long time before they leave the box. Creates a lot of problems. Allie's sitting number three in the average, so he's needing a very quick run this afternoon to move up. Well, this shows the athletic ability of the cowboy. He just steps out full speed. Now they have to wait for the calf to regain his feet and throw him by hand. They can't tie him if he's down when they get to him. Here, this isn't the best calf in the herd. He kind of kicks, kind of struggles, so you'll see him make sure that he ties him good and strong to make sure he stays down. Well, Jerry broke the barrier his time, 24.1. That'll take him out of the running. That takes us now to Jerry Jaton. He would like to win here, but he's more impressed with the buckle. You know, guys go to rodeos, and I've done good here at this rodeo. I've won a lot of money at this rodeo. I, I never have won the buckle. And it's to me, it's probably one of the prettiest buckles they give besides the NFR and the go-around buckles at the finals. And this, I'm not going to say this is going to be my last year. I've said that two or three years in a row. But this could be the last, you know, shot that I got this good of a chance to win the buckle. And I'd love to take it home and put it in my trophy case. Well, Jerry's been to the National Finals Rodeo 11 times. He missed last year in 1991. But boy, he's sitting number six in the world right now. Well, he needs to be 15.5 seconds to take the lead. He kind of waited in there to make sure he's clean at the barrier. And the calf really ducked hard to the left, and that hurt. Boy, he was sitting number two in the average coming into the finals, and Jerry Jetson watches his chances and that buckle slip away. Well, here's the guy who was sitting number one in the average at the start of the day from Florida, Ray Braben. We watched Raven Greeley. He had a chance to win there, and he missed his calf there. Now he's got all the time in the world to work with. He needs to play it safe. Make sure he gets him roped. Now watch him go to work. The hard part's done. Let's the calf to his feet. Now he hurries the tie on. That'll work. Three times he's been to the National Finals Rodeo. One time, he was the world champion. You see him take that little extra swing. He wanted to make sure he got this calf caught. Now, once that's done, the pressure's off. He can do what he does best, just hurries down there, makes a solid, solid run. He watched the number two guy in the average go out, so he knew all he had to do really was just go take care of business. Solid run of 13.8, as you said, Butch, and that should give Ray Raven the win here in Salinka. Okay, when I rode in the box, I knew that uh, the two guys ahead of me had some hard luck, so I just wanted to back off the barrier and just go rope and tie him down. And, uh, 
That's what happened. You know, I didn't want to rush myself. I didn't want to beat myself.